Hi, Bill from CJ Pony Parts. If you're having random starting issues, or sometimes your Mustang just shuts off while you're driving, the ignition switch might be the culprit. This part can be rather intimidating to install, so we're going to show you step-by-step -step how to replace the switch using this Scott Drake piece and our weekend wrench project car. The first step in installing a new ignition switch is to remove your lock cylinder. You'll just need the ignition key and a small pick to do so. First step is to turn your key to the accessory position. You want to grab a small pick, a tiny little hole right below the key. You're going to press that in, and then you're going to turn it counterclockwise past accessory, and you can pull it straight out. Once you remove the key and the lock cylinder, make sure that you're careful not to turn it at all. You want to leave it exactly the same way it was. It'll make it much easier to put it back in the car. Now we have to separate the ignition switch from the ignition bezel itself. To do that, you have to go underneath the dashboard. You want to reach up behind and grab the back of the ignition switch. The ignition switch is held into the bezel by a spring. You want to push in and turn counterclockwise to release it. You release and the bezel will pop out and you can fish the ignition switch underneath the dash. Now I'll remove the retaining nut from the back of the switch. The wire out the top. Now I'm going to remove the plug. A small screwdriver will help you separate it. It's a rubber plug so it seals tightly, but sometimes it can be a little tough to get off. Now we're going to plug in our new switch. You have to reconnect the wire to the top. Install our spacer onto our new switch. And we're going to fish the switch back up into the dash. This is probably one of the most difficult parts of the installation. It's going to be hard to see as we do it, so we're going to show you the pieces outside of the car. Basically, once you have the spacer installed, the bezel is going to go to the dashboard itself. The switch is going to come in from the back. You're going to put it in and turn the locket in place. Then you want to line the bezel up with the two tabs in the dash. Once that locks into place, you push your new switch in and turn. I'm going to reinstall the key the same angle we took it out, but lined up just past accessory. pop it into place, and then we turn. Once you reconnect your battery, you can test out your switch. See, everything's working like it's supposed to. The hardest part is getting the bezel to line up with the switch itself. Besides that, the whole installation should only take you between 45 minutes to an hour, so you'll be back on the road in no time.